What's up, Gundam Kitchen family? It's gonna be a quick one because I have like no battery life left. But let's talk backlog. So, like most of you guys, I got a little bit of a backlog going. I'm supposed to build this for somebody. I don't think I remember what I was supposed to build it for. Or actually, I was supposed to help them with it. So, pretty cool. Very simple and piece count, but it is a glue kit. Not really. Well, actually, this thing is snap fit. I forgot what I was supposed to do with this. <laughs> I'll have to contact Mike and find out what I was supposed to do with that. So, uh, I think it was Mike. Hmm. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I don't know if I'll get around to that one, but that shouldn't be too hard. Then we have a project. This is something that I thought of like four or five years ago before they started making um, the bear guys with uh, the girl heads. So I was going to try to take this bear guy and hybrid it with uh, cut out the head and put an android together with it and then build out the bear guy. Uh, and then I tried to mold the chest of the bear guy. Got a little crazy. I don't know if this one's even worth continuing anymore. I think, uh, no, I can't build the bear guy anymore, but I don't think that one's worth continuing since they already have the cute bear guy kit. So not really worth it. What else we got? Uh, Gundam Nerd and I were supposed to do a competition. <laughs> Things that just get lost in time, right? We were going to see who could build this one the best. So my idea was hybriding it with uh, the old school it's, uh, Tomy Bumblebee model kit. And... Huh. So this is the first time I've actually pulled this stuff out for a while. I don't even know where the parts I worked on are. So those Bumblebee had a pretty funky uh, frame. These hips are garbage. They're going to be flopping all over the place. That's why I was going to chop it up. But this is pretty cool what I tried to do. This was all one piece plastic here. I actually started skeletonizing it. So that was kind of my goal to make like a really lightweight uh, Gundam frame. That would be really hollowed out and stuff like that. What's this crap that got on it? So I might get back to that one. Oh, I think I was, so yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to start layering some Bumblebee's uh, armor onto him and make my own Bumblebee. Um, that's, this was a poster tack I was using to put on there, so I looked. So that might come together. That might be a fun one to revisit in the next couple of weeks. So that might be like number two, three on the list. Also have a couple that I didn't even bring out yet. I gotta find my uh, Michael G. Printed me out a, a 3D of um, her name is Tifa from uh, Final Fantasy. Huge, like I don't know, probably one six at least uh, statue. So that's another big project. I have a Kamen Rider um, vinyl. Somebody asked me to build for him. Last two weeks ago, I was commissioned to work on um, some armor parts for resin armor for a uh, Zoid. So that'll be fun. It's hard for me not to get too insane with this one because being resin it needs a bit of work. But the owner was like, don't go crazy. So I'm trying to control myself on not getting too deep into this beyond what we asked for. I already did one of the blades, but I can't find it right now. So that one should be... Oh, here's a blade. So pretty cool. Mostly metallic she wanted and the, the colors. But like if you can see here, there's like some imperfections in between the primer and the, the resin itself. So I just feel like we get smoother. We can do better. All right, what else we got here? And I have some pretty cool customers who gift me stuff. So that was actually a Gundam Nerd when he went to Japan for um, 
when he went to Japan for the GBWC back in 2018. So he got me one of these um, injection machines. So very cool. Definitely got to build that. That's a nice one day build. I don't think I've even painted it. Probably just uh, top coat it. That'd be nice. Real quick. And I'm not sure if he got this for me or I ordered this one. Or somebody else got it for me, but it's clear uh, SDCS. So this one would be fun. So you actually like uh, pimped out this inner frame and it'll show a little bit. Might even go crazy on the inner frame and I'll let it show. So that's that I'm looking forward to. That's gonna be a good one. That's another probably a one day build, maybe uh, depending on how crazy if I start adding stuff to the inner frame and really make it look good. Maybe a little crazy. But yeah, check that out straight from uh the Gunnam base in Tokyo. Thanks, Gunnam Nerd and Whoever else got me? I'm not sure if that was him who got me the SD, but it might have been. I can't remember. Sheesh, it's been a while. It was like two years ago. But definitely thanks for that uh, injection machine. Uh, what's this one? Another hybrid, early to the game. So, or not early to the game, but I was trying to make my own, like, uh, Armored Girl. So I took a, I think that's Fumina. And try to build her on RX 78. This is another one I don't know if I'll go back to. She looks a little oaky. Maybe this has to be chopped down or something like that. It's just too too long. Super tall. Could shave that down though. That probably work. So that is an option. Be a lot of RX 78 parts left over. But I still was trying to figure out how to uh, attach her. The skirts of the RX-78 so they can float as she still has a lot of posability. But uh, I think I could actually do that. I could, I could get this working. Arms look about the right length. I don't know what happened here. Did I break something? Oh, so I was trying to get it so it could fit the um, shoulder patch from the RX-78. So I did that. Arms come to the right spot on the hips, so they just look, look really long. So I might shave that down, bring these legs up a little bit. She looks super tall. Looks a little weird but yeah, so that's that's a project, not on the top of the list, but definitely one I might want to look at again. This is another gift. Uh, I think this was from a convention. I think it's going to be a straight build started already. So very nice OG, uh, I think it's the G3 style. So definitely want to finish this one off. And since it was a gift and it came in a special box, I kind of want to build it as it's supposed to be built. So I'll probably panel line it and just uh, top coat it, keep it real basic the way it was intended. Clean build. Else we got here and then somebody bought one of these well they bought two cars they were hyped to do some car models but they never done them before and they realized how crazy harsh car models are so they kind of dropped out of that one and gave it back to me donated it to the store so i said yeah i'll give it a shot i haven't done a car model i've only done one or two so i mean Definitely love the decals. Obviously, this is not the correct car for the Fast and the Furious, but that is the decal set. So I'm not sure how that works in Japan. If they, uh, if this was a race team, they all have the same decals, or this company couldn't afford the Supra, so they used the RX-7 because they already had a license for it. I don't know. Whatever. I love RX-7s too, so it's all good. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see it in probably the exact same color so I can recreate that color. I think I've seen uh, videos of where they, you know, they have her here too, where they tell you what those colors are. But I'm not sure I want to do it. Or, or we get crazy and maybe do it in like a color shift or those um, pigments. So that has possibilities. It doesn't go on the back burner though, because I got to make sure I can do them right, because that's a big service. And speaking of making sure you can do it right, my nemesis, the project that I definitely failed. So if I had to ask you guys to vote on which one that I should do, I'm sure everybody would say the Nightingale because if you know me, this was the big bad boy that I could not, I wasn't satisfied with it. This actually looks pretty cool, 
but I just was not satisfied with this candy coat. And actually, looking at it now, I'm pretty hard on myself, but it does have orange peel in it. Um, from a distance, it doesn't look horrible, but it does have orange peel, and now stuff is starting to get scratched and coming off anyway from being thrown in the box again. But my idea is camphor build. Hybrid, it's got um, Kit Basha, camphor into Nightingale. So I'm trying to look at it to see what parts I want. Um, this thigh armor, bulky as hell. If I could use that in some way, I think that'd be pretty cool. It's pretty low. I mean, being uh, one of the early REs, especially, has very low um, detail. Now, who's on here? We got Robo. Yo, what up, Robo? And everybody's name just faded away. I hate that. Right, here we go. Mike R. Yeah, we need real world. We do need real world, man. Haven't talked to Braxton for probably about a month, so if we can get him out of the works, I'd love to have him through. We are doing After Dark tomorrow. Shipment should be here, so that's one of the old school ones from about two years ago. We're popping that, so let everybody know. Share that. After Dark is coming back. We will be doing one, I guess, we'll probably shoot at about 6 tomorrow, so people on the East Coast, if they still go to work or out, should be home. And uh, with all the people at home, we should have a good turnout. So... It'd be very similar to the old school after dark i would suggest though that if you're using apple i don't think you can watch facebook or youtube and then open up like another app so you might want to put it on another device and watch it and we're going to do all the sales right through the website hopefully so but if you have some add-ons well you know like paints and tools and stuff like that we can definitely do that through um, invoice but I would like to keep a lot of the sales through the website because it's just simpler that way. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Got to plan on that a little bit more. Make sure I can get it all in the system by then. So anyway, yeah, I don't think these leg parts are going to be very useful in the camphor build. Otherwise, and maybe the thighs, if I can get them to work. Um, these skirts, I was interested in these. So fronts are really plain, right? Not a big fan of that. But the back of these skirts have some pretty cool detail. I think they had arms in there or something like that. But I could probably build that out with something pretty cool. So that's kind of the goal was to flip these skirts around and use them in the reverse way. And then these will be massive skirts. I kind of want to make them like a heavy armor camper. So he's like just beefy as hell. So that's one idea I had. Um, these feet are ridiculous. Wow, why is that stuck? That was pretty cool chrome going on there. I think I tested some more chromes. Closer tech after years. So, I don't know if I can use these feet for anything. They're pretty weird looking. They got a nice amount of detail on them. Huge. I don't know. I'm so clever could happen. I was thinking about using these shoulder pieces. Or these, whatever these are. I don't know, but... <laughs> you see how big this kit is? <laughs> like, this picture is way bigger. And this would fit on this kit as it is in the picture. Like, this is insane. So, yeah, I don't know if I can use these because these are massive. But if I can figure out a way to do it, I will. Because I think there's a bunch of thrusters going there, too, if I remember correctly. Uh, this whole butt part, I mean, this is going to be useless for this build. Unless um, it could be like a shell. I can make them like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, how about if I turn it this way? Uh, I can't remember the name of this. Xeon suit that has a giant cannon and drags behind it. It doesn't even really have a head. It's like a mobile armor, really big. But you can use this as a shell, and the gun could come out from here over the uh, can go over the shoulder because it's right down the middle. Shut that idea down. But eh, could be some ideas there. Could be some back armor. Now this is the part that I like. This is a beefy chest, so I don't know if I can restructure this and build either some nightingale and camper around it, but I love to use this part because it has those giant thrusters and the arms and everything from beefy out of there. So I could do that if I would. Hold on, guys. Thank you for calling Millennium Hobbies. I'm speaking to help you. Hey, man. What's up? Yeah, I did, and they should have shipped it yesterday, so hopefully it went out, because <laughs> you know they closed. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, talk to you later, man.
All right, so I don't know if I'd be able to use these pieces, but at least they're rounded. I mean, a lot of Zeon, Zeon suits are rounded, so that's good. I got thrusters for days in here. All kinds of sizes came from this kit, so that's really cool. Uh, what else we got in here? <laughs> tons and tons of metallic paint I have left in here. This is me trying to foil them. That came out pretty good, but this is hell of hella hard. So this is actually um, a sticker foil that's actually metal, I guess. But uh, it's very hard to get it really nice and smooth. You might be able to see the line there. But it does have the reflectivity of real metal, but it's hard to keep it smooth. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to use the skirts. I hope to use this part. Uh, the shield just might be too big, but if I can figure out how to use the shield, I'd love to use the shield. So you can see I start... Did I do some weathering? Yeah, I did a little bit of weathering, but this is the part I did like the most weathering and not weathering, but like kind of gunmetal effect on. Uh, what else is in here? I think these are arm parts, so I mean, uh, I think they're too long for the camphor. So our build has to be 70% uh, uh, recognizable as, can as the camphor, so you can't get too crazy foot bashing it. <laughs> that gun is stupid big. Stupid big. I don't think there's anybody can use that either. But who knows? So I'm not even sure what kind of style I want this thing. I guess I'm going to start kit bashing it and then see if it looks like super clean. I might actually use some of those Armor Komodo colors or something like that and hope that. Oh, he had nice hands for RE. These are all closable. But these might get used. All right, we got hands. Didn't realize that. We got some hands, we got a kickstand. I love that. Right. So this should be interesting. I think this is gonna be what I'm gonna start on first. I hope to get a video besides just the uh after dark tomorrow, the after dark shop, but uh that might be the only thing we get done tomorrow because with the shipment coming and getting that all process, it's gonna take a while. Also bought crazy amounts of lights for this crap. So I don't know if I'll be able to use them, but it'd be nice too. And here's some more examples of what I was trying to do with that metal. Mm -hmm. So, and I actually did the insides too. So it's a shame because you can see the lines where they meet, but the finish is so nice, but so hard to get it on there straight. But we found other products over the years, so we can get pretty close to that same effect. Yeah, this is the Tenna control, so I got a whole control light set for this other one to do. So I gotta use all that stuff, right? Gotta get it all something. So good stuff. I think uh I think we get some stuff out of here. And then another idea I had for a lot of this kit was to try to do something totally not gundam and just build a scratch build like sci-fi vehicle out of the remainder parts, but we'll see how much remains. Cool tanks too, so I should be able to kind of use those in some way. I don't think I'll ever get to use this stuff. Actually seamed it and all. Alright, so otherwise in the Camper Nightingale build, and I gotta do the Zoid because that's a commission. Let me know out of these different builds what you want to see. Also, don't forget about the uh resin Tifa, and then we also have tons of miniatures. Definitely gotta do the marble. That's gonna be a definite. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Uh the comic book style I started doing with the Marvel stuff as soon as I find my Micron pen. Hmm. All right. Talk to you later. Stay safe. Peace.